Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 16 of We the Revolution. It's Danton's trial today because we chose him. The thing is what I realized later after thinking about it, maybe it wasn't the greatest idea to judge your own friend. Because seriously, what are we going to do? We most likely have to kill him. On the other hand, I remembered that Danton wasn't like the nicest guy, but still, I think we just had to choose on who we ourselves wanted to condemn to death. I don't know if choosing Danton was the right thing, but well, I guess decisions were made the last episode. So let's see what we're going to do. I mean, the revolutionaries want him to go free. The aristocrats and the common folk want him to die. Yeah, but the common folk want to want everyone to die, so... Maybe we can let him go free, who knows. I mean, he should be nicer to us then. So what's the news today? Oh, something about the fencing school happened. Mm. I haven't played in a longer time. But I think I'll remember again. As I said, Horace Laval is a very famous fencer and any Parisian who, wish who wishes to be influential should seek the support of such people. But no, not you. Well, Danton also learned about the issue and paid off all the officials who were bothering his new friend. Now Laval owes a favor to your rival. Oh, so Danton is my rival again. Well, that's good to know. Those are some not so nice moves here. So I don't know if I would do like to do any of them, but I can't anyway because I don't have the influence points. So let's forget about everything. So Danton, I see you bribed some fencing school. No, not the fencing school. Ugh, I'm a little bit out of it. So let's see. Well, these are three pages long. Let's read what he's accused of. He is accused of treason and corruption. Okay. The one who will face truth and justice today is Georges Danton. The list of his alleged faults is long, but as an investigator, I have been able to gather convincing evidence. Thank you, Fabrice. Firstly, there are the accusations of corruption. Danton has never explained where he obtained the money that he used to purchase several properties, the farm of Nuismont that totals more than, 17 he than 70 hectares, the monastery of saint jean du Chesne, and a house in R.C. Danton has also taken good care of his family. His mother receives a lifelong allowance of 600 francs every year, and his young wife benefited from a wedding gift of 40,000 francs. Furthermore, the list of his expenses is even more impressive. Neither the allowance of a member of the convention, nor the ministerial salary that he received for two months, nor the remuneration associated with any of his previous official functions would have been sufficient to make such purchase purchases possible. This leads us directly to an accusation of corruption, although it may also be linked to one of the other reasons he is here today. Okay, so apparently he had a lot of money to spend. Okay. As a minister of justice for a short time, he had the opportunity to make withdrawals from a secret fund for expenses, the details of which cannot be openly disclosed. Bertrand de Molville suggested in his memoirs that Danton, with the assistance of a person named Durand, allegedly embezzled 100,000 francs from this very fund. The witness saw a note confirming payment of such an amount to of such an amount to Danton by that middleman. Unfortunately, we are unable to question de Molville in person as he disappeared soon before the trial of Citizen Capet. Okay, so they suspect him that he, steal it, that he stole the money from a secret fund while he was a minister. Well, that would be bad for you. I can't let you go free then. The third indictment has been submitted by citizen Robespierre, who accuses Danton of being an English spy. His task was to destabilize the everyday life of ordinary Parisians by continuously adding fuel to civil fury, which allegedly led to bloodshed and social divisions. This scenario was once discovered by Marquis Lafayette before the end of citizen Capet's rule. At the time, such bloody internal conflict was supposed to prove that it would not be possible for the court and the people to reach an agreement, and that Louis had to use force to 
restore control of the situation. In practice, this would have put an end to the revolution at the very last moment. These revelations have been confirmed to Robespierre by an agent from the Committee of General Security, Louis Comte, who tracked down the remains of the Girondin party. The same information was provided by two unrelated sources, revealing that Tonton allegedly led a group of people who wanted to take over power in France and provide a place on the throne for the Duke of York, the son of the English king. So really, he was an English spy too? So was he really an English spy or is this just a setup? Well, I guess we'll see. So, he's accused of stealing money from a state fund and of being a spy. Well, I suppose with money that could be true, unless he has a really good explanation for that. The English spy is probably counter-revolutionary. Uh, maybe Danton's family is his person belongs to the personality because he shared his money with his family. Okay. So maybe so now the offender's personality is done. There's no more. So maybe provoking conflict was a method. Yes. Maybe the throne for the Duke of York was also a method? No. No, the throne for the Duke of York is what, what witnesses said, right? No. Okay, motive or method? Was a motive. Yes. Okay, so now we only have method or witnesses left. The accusations of corruptions. It is something that a witness says. That a witness says. Although, how, also, why should an accusation be a method? So it must be what the witness says, right? Because someone wrote it in his memoirs. Really? Why do, am I so bad at these lately? I have one mistake to go, and I still have three to order. So I guess the secret fund should be the method then, because, I don't know. Yes, at least something. Oh, wait, we got it. Not confirming payment is what the witnesses had. And what about this? This is also about witnesses. Ooh, okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. We got our case file. So, let's start. Please introduce yourself. I have roared so many times from the podium on behalf of the people that everybody here already knows me well enough. Citizen Danton! Thank you, Prosecutor Tonville, for providing that information in case anybody had forgotten. <laughs> oh, you're being sassy. You have been accused of a number of crimes, including corruption, embezzlement of public money and treason. Where are the cowards who accused me? Let me see them so I may cover them with shame. You have been accused by the nation. Really? And I thought it was that ferocious beast Robespierre, thirsty for, thirsty for fresh meat, but he will break his teeth on me. Okay, well then let's see. Oh, witnesses. Call in a witness. Please introduce yourself. Philippe Lebas. Who's he? Robespierre's faithful dog. Oh, okay. Be quiet in my courtroom! Yeah, seriously. Are you familiar with the memoirs of Bertrand de Molville? So this is uh, this is a guy that that wrote about um, the corruption of money. This is. Do you know anything about Danton's cooperation with the man known as Durand? Huh. So probably this is like the more direct question because Durand was the guy who got him the money from the funds. So I guess maybe this is the better one. Do you know anything about Danton's cooperation with the man known as Durand? After former minister de Lessard was arrested, we were able to get some information from him. A typical minion of Robespierre. Shut up before I punch you, loudmouth. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> the viewers are also a little bit splitted. This included de Molville's conversation with de Lassard. The latter admitted that he had once given 24,000 francs to an unknown person with instructions to deliver it to Danton. Wait, 24,000? Wasn't it said in, wasn't it say that 100,000? 
Why would he do that? It was about supporting one of the Lazar's projects. Could Durand have been this mysterious person? Well, since his name has been coming up everywhere, it probably was him. So wait a second. I need to read this again. I wasn't... Okay, so as far as I see it, um, this wasn't the only time that money was transferred from the funds to someone else. And it was probably over this Durand guy. So this guy who was arrested, this Lazard, he also used this to support one of his own projects. And it wasn't another, it wasn't a hundred thousand francs, so it was 24,000. And he also delivered it to Danton, so could he, Danton be... Huh. Although, no, I mean, why would he... There's, He has some more money than he should have, so I guess maybe he just took it out for his own... Oh, well. Oh, let's go with that. Although, maybe, I don't know. Ah. Where did you get the money for the extensive investments in property? I worked for it. I kept the money for a long time, but only recently decided to invest it. You took advantage of the chaos in your position. I bought several properties that were falling into decline, ones that nobody wanted to take care of. It has been rumored in the streets for some time now that Danton is corrupt. You could surely have taken advantage of your ministerial post. People of my stature and moral standing have no prices they cannot be bought. Then I shall ask you straight, did you take advantage of your ministerial post to purchase those properties? I was a minister for a mere two months, and if nothing else, that fact makes the accusation sound absurd. Okay, I don't really know what we were about to accuse him of. When did you begin to spy for our enemies? I have heard this accusation many times before, yet nobody has presented any... This time, however, someone has confirmed the gossip. A minor cheat is to be an authority here. Then... Did Tinville just say something? Uh, then where is he now? Why is he not testifying? He was found strangled several days ago in the room he rented for his stay in Paris. Ooh. How typical an unknown man makes an accusation then disappears to avoid confrontation in the court. He did not disappear, he was murdered. That is even more unfortunate as I now cannot prove her he is a liar. Dear jurors, do not believe in the slander. It is rather peculiar, everything. Do you confirm the existence of a secret fund that you had your disposal that you had at your disposal as the Minister of Justice? Yes, like every other minister before and after me. You've been accused of embezzling money for how many times have I been accused of corruption? Such aspersions have been cast on me since the beginning of my revolutionary activity, but there has never been any evidence. Then how did you spend the money of that fund? Supposedly it was as much as 400,000 francs. It is a secret fund. By disclosing any information on the matter, I could expose France to the threat of further ridicule and danger. You're saying that transparency will lead to our nation becoming a laughing stock? How? <laughs> Do not twist my words. I spent 200,000 in Fabre. My secretary was also in position to manage the remaining sum. Uh huh. But the amount returned was only 130,000. Where is the rest of the money? It was spent in the best interest of France, which will never be understood by such ignoramuses as, as those who have accused me. That isn't really putting you in the best light, you know. Where did Durand get the stated amount of 100,000 francs? I do not know the man. His name has been associated with many corruption scandals. Is he a banker? All bankers are thieving bastards. Do not make me throw you from this room. Yeah, people, calm down. You're just here to spectate and not to yell. As I have said, I do not know the man. I have heard the name, but that is all. So when we find him, he will confirm that you do not know each other. You will not find him if his name has appeared in association with various corruption scandals and nobody has caught him thus far. It is only possible that you had better be careful not to make hasty accusations. 
You either do not wish to find him or he does not exist at all. Or perhaps this man's name is not even Durand. Maybe every time you would like to accuse someone of corruption without evidence, you invoke the name Durand. Not so fast. This man may even be rotting in his grave, but whenever there is a need, whenever you require it, he nevertheless returns and continues to corrupt those you desire to behead. What a rogue. So it is true. I mean, it never really... There is no hard evidence that... Danton knows Durand. I mean, this is just one guy, although one guy wrote about it. The witness doesn't know who this Durand guy is, so he knows that there are some corruption things going on for private projects or whatever, and that someone, some middleman delivers the money. But he doesn't know that this guy is Durand or whatever, or whoever everyone's talking about. So, I mean, what we have data what we have for sure is that there is some middleman <laughs> but due to the witness we don't know who that is or like the witness doesn't know who it is the problem is i have no idea what to do because yeah something smells really fishy here because he's really much boasting about how much of a revolutionary figure he is and how dare people accuse him of anything, but seriously, then why won't he tell us what happened to the money that's missing? I don't know how much he could have saved up to buy so much stuff all at once. Even if it is true that he bought those um, properties, because they were in bad shape and not that... Maybe they weren't that expensive, but still... There is something strange here, because Tinville asked him what ha there, that there was some money missing and he asked what it was about and his answer was it was something for France that you wouldn't understand, so... It's not really something to believe, but... So wait a second, I just want to take a look. So Danton is very high up on the ranks here. I would kill someone very high up in the hierarchy. The thing is, I don't really know what what's true and what's not, so I would actually like to ask him more questions. Although they're all incriminating, probably, but I really want to know what's going on here. Also, I, I don't really believe him. Also, I mean, he is... He is someone that could have turned against us really easily. But maybe I'll just ask him the questions, and then the jury wants him to die too. And then I wouldn't ha have to have such a bad feeling, because I just did what the jury wanted. So what question could I- Did your family know about the possible origin of the money you gave them? Did you personally meet the Duke of York? Robespierre claims that your recent action. Let's ask him that. Robespierre claims that your recent actions have constituted treason on behalf of England. And how did he come to that conclusion? Citizen Robespierre says that... Citizen Robespierre says that Citizen Robespierre says that am I being tried by France or by, by, or by Robespierre? Are you so afraid, Prosecutor Tinville, that you must use Robespierre as an excuse? Give it to him. The evidence has been provided by France. You will cry for me when Robespierre's shady affairs come to light, when he brings his army out against you. You will long for freedom, but then realize too late that you have already beheaded it. But was you shouting in the streets, crying for the nation's traitors to be sent to the guillotine? So send them, but not me. Are not such public speeches considered incitement of the crowd? If that were the case, everyone involved with the revolution should be sent to the guillotine as it was only possible because the crowd was willing to be incited. We do not need anything more. I don't understand. You know what? Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look about how much everyone would hate me if I set him free. Ooh, a lot. Oh, the w oh no, I have to set him free. <gasps> I have to set him free. Oh, I oh, I'm so happy that I read this. I am so happy that I read this. Okay, so... Oops. Oh, we just have to guess. Okay, um, he's going free. 
I don't wanna... I, I, I wanna keep working, so... Screw you, common folk. You just want to behead someone again. I don't know, aristocrats, yeah, whatever. Okay. You better be thankful to me, Danton. Okay, so I can make it up to the common folk again now. Yvon Poulain, a married baker, was caught in bed with his younger lover by the latter's father. Poulain ran away, jumping through a window onto the roof of a neighboring house and breaking a few tiles. The hole he made was so big that rain destroyed several items stored in the attic. <laughs> no one deserves to be beheaded for this. Suzanne Pons died after having supper with her husband Lucien, a garrison physician. We discovered that a few days prior to the incident, Lucien had caught his wife in an ambiguous situation and position. I don't know. I mean, there's still not evidence about this. Nope. Oh, seriously. Renaud Fouquet tried to smuggle four barrels of dried tobacco into Paris without paying duty on them. He used special barrels with fake bottoms. At first glance, they appeared to be completely filled with cabbage. Ugh. Also nothing to die for. Like me again? Yes, thought so. Okay, so, oh no, did the defendant confess to the crime? Was his act counter-revolutionary? Well, I mean, probably. He stole some money. Also, almost everything is counter-revolutionary so far as I learned it, so let's go with yes. According to the defendant, how much money from the secret ministry fund was taken by him? It was 200,000. And I guess he didn't give uh, confess to any crimes. How did the defendant explain his acquaintance with the Duke of York? Oh, so now we have to guess because we could spend one point. The, the, the first two questions could be wrong too, so let's say that. He said they never met. Oh, that figures. I order you to let citizen Danton go. He's innocent. At least you know the meaning of the word loyalty. Ugh, it wasn't because I'm loyal to you. Robespierre is not going to like this. How can you release a traitor? How? Oh, oh, everything was correct. Yes. Okay, everyone. Yeah, just uh, hate me all you want. Bye, Danton. See you. The next scheming. Let's go home. So what can we do? Reading together. Hmm. Well, let's visit. Um, let's visit Frederick's grave. I know, wife. Tomorrow we're going to do something that you kind of like. Okay. Well, so he's looking... Oh, no, 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 no. Are you freaking kidding me? The statue is reaching at a level... Okay. Can I only seize this building now? Okay. It will help my agents. Well then, why not? I have no points to spend, but this looks really bad. Because now there's two on one and two on two. Although Don uh, Rommel was... Injured before, but I guess he's all right. So maybe this should be okay, but I'm a little bit afraid for my Home district, but I guess we can't do anything. They're all fighting What arresting Henriot? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, I remember Henriot betrayed us. Oh You're going down Henriot 
attempt to send a message that betraying the judge of the tribunal never ends well. Besides, Robespierre will be considerably more exposed now that he has been stripped of the National Guard's help. Let us cut off his military arm. Yeah, I've been really annoyed with you for a long time. Since the beginning, actually. Since you proposed that we ally and then, oh, and then suddenly, two days later, it comes out that... Who was it back then? Roland or someone had something bad on you. Today we only have several minor cases. Yes, great. Then let's make it better for the common folk. Roger Bosso deserted the army and fled to Paris, where he was detained by the guard because of inebriation and brawls. Investigators contacted us as commander-in-chief. They found out that Boisseau was suspended of murdering a fellow soldier. He most probably fled because of this. Um, death. The merchant Cedric Bonnier visited a supplier in the country and loaded an extra four bags of flour that he had not paid for into his cart. This clearly could not have been a simple mistake. It had to be deliberate theft. Huh. Was it? Was it not? I think I, I uh, that wasn't something that bad. Aubin Massé abandoned his artillery battery in the middle of a battle and ran into the forest. He returned to his post some time later, remorseful, and was greeted with shackles. The accused said that he had panicked when rounds started falling nearby. The other artillerymen remained in their positions during the battle. You know, no. He came back. The butcher Gerard Carpentier was found to have been adding horse meat to his sausages and cooked meats. He would buy it at low cost from local farmers. There have been no reports of food poisoning, but we believe it is only a matter of time until we hear of some. You know, this is a scandal, but seriously, no one died of it, so... Oh. Arnaud de Chez, a 68 year old, murdered his wife and set alight the tenement in which they lived in order to cover his tracks. Eight people died in the fire and 16 were injured. The accused did not want to say why he wanted to kill his wife. Uh, death. Robert de Chez broke into the apartments of several wealthy Parisians. Later, his accomplice, Leonard Saunier, visited them and offered to install new locks on their doors. What a flourishing business. Um, I guess if I let them go free. The common folk would like that, but the revolutionaries wouldn't. Although the common folk are like my biggest problem right now. Although on the other hand, most of the time the common folk and the revolutionaries are opposed in their opinions, so maybe I should start now pleasing the revolutionaries again so I don't lose too much if I give something to the common folk next. Wait, they want them to be killed. Well then, let's do that. Oh! Oh, that was the wrong... <laughs> Oops, I think I had a little bit of a logic flaw there. But hey, they robbed wealthy Parisians, so... Thank you, blah blah. Okay, bye. Yeah, let's go home. Hmm. Really? Even our oldest son wasn't the one doesn't want to go to the theater again? Well, then you're going to work on his statue. Not only my wife deserves to hate me. Oh no, please leave. Yes. Yes. Everything's okay. Everyone works, blah, blah. Okay. The hideout has been seized. It will have your agents. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um. So I want to take this one back, please. The other ones are hurt anyway, so they can't really. Yeah. But I think they're positioned really well, because I will need him... Oh. I probably need him next and somewhere here or there. Okay, let's go. 
What? No! Unfortunately, the old fox managed to elude the hunters. According to my sources, he is looking for members of the Paris Commune that are willing to join an armed in intervention against you. As he was once able to convince you to support him, he will surely succeed. You must react and interfere with his efforts. Oh, Henri, yo. I helped you so much and now you betray me. Like everyone else, the leaders of the commune seek power. Let the Vide promise some of them great careers after overthrowing Robespierre. We must catch every prominent member of the commune and beat them black and blue. Without them, Henriot will not be able to gather enough people. If Rommel has something on the members of the commune, he should use it now to blackmail anyone willing to join Henriot. I don't know. I don't have a good feeling if I promise these people um, positions. If they don't join my enemy because maybe they will still don't like me and then I will have someone in the ranks that want to kill me so I guess I'm gonna go with Rommel again go Rommel because beating someone into submission isn't probably the best thing to do either so let's go chance of success 60% well then let's hope oh, screw you Ario really Was that your plan all along? Did you charm my wife so I couldn't think about it closer? Oh, what a pretty handwriting. Citizens! Deputies! Oh, wait, what? Okay, so now we have to have to turn up the crowd against Robespierre. Okay, let's take a look at all of this. Um, wait, I need my list. Okay, let's go convince people. So, bullheaded is this one. Works best with humility, or at least good. Um, this one is attached manipulation he has lost himself to the terrors oversensitive it's also manipulation withdrawn I don't know about withdrawn but it was aggression I think I guess that's a good end um, Robespierre is a rabbit dog we don't know that but maybe aggression works too let's see okay okay um well then maybe we should be good. I don't want to try anything new because I don't want to fuck it up either, but it's not the greatest, but hey, it's everything's green, so why not? Let's try. Robespierre has lost touch with reality. If he was an honorable man, he would turn himself into the authorities. But he is a rabid dog, ready to defend himself at all costs and indifferent to the number of people he causes to suffer. You both are like rabid dogs. One push is enough to make you bark and growl. Robespierre told me once that terror is nothing other than justice, prompt, severe, inflexible. Do you understand? Such are his views. He sees no other option but flooding France in blood. We all make mistakes. Robespierre is no different. We can still turn him. Not so sure about that. I have long been tracing a scheme among aristocrats led by Clément Renard. The traitors want to re-establish monarchy in France. What's more, Robespierre is helping them. So I really cannot understand, my dear colleagues, why you'd want to give him a second chance. I hope that this is enough. I feel sorry for those poor people who fall for Henriot's pretty words. The commander is building an army that will march on the convention. Those miserable souls will die for his crimes. Come on, people. 
Okay, I think we're at least going to manage and treat. Only an imbecile would fail to know the army will begin with an attack on the convention. They must secure their precious positions. Come on, give me. The give judge me is right. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it was a success. Yes. Not even a questionable success, but a success. Yes. Who votes for the arrest of Robespierre? Ooh. Ooh. Are we going to trial on Robespierre now? They are coming. Okay, we have another battle scenario coming, I see. Yep. Okay. Well, Henriot, you're going down. So what do we have here? Artillery attacks more lines while the rest of the row switch to defense? That might be good. Let's start with that. Huh. He had the same idea. Oh, well, ours was more effective. Guess that would be a good one. Let's try this. Frontline assault or another defense? I guess shooting them would be a good. Yeah, let's let's stay with this. Okay, um, I have a lot of shooters, so let's do that. Okay, one more to go. I think we should be good. So, this one. One more time and then I guess we're good. You're going down, Oreo. Okay. You lost Robespierre. The revolution has turned out to be too much for you. Oh well. There was a lot happening now. Oh well, he doesn't look too good. Kind of feel pity for him now, but... Well, um, I think we're going to take a look into Robespierre's case in the next episode. So, there was a lot happening in the last days. Or in the last day, I think there wasn't so much time, but okay. Well, anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.